A leading light in the Premier League for eight years, Daniel Sturridge's recent descent has been catastrophic. At just 32 years old, the former Liverpool hitman is languishing in the Australian A-League. And the acrimony that has plagued his latter career has been devastated. Curtailed by injury, bad luck, and legal issues, we'll take a look at what the hell has happened to Daniel Sturridge. A rapid ascent. Daniel Sturridge's rise was as blistering as his signature explosivity. At just 17, he signed his first professional deal with Manchester City. After three seasons with the Citizens, he moved to Chelsea. He would win both domestic cups in his first season. After a brief loan spell at Bolton Wanderers, he returned even stronger and established himself in the Chelsea First Eleven. He earned his first call-up to the England national team and lifted the club's first Champions League. Sturridge made a $16 million switch to Liverpool. They might not walk alone at Liverpool, but Sturridge was walking on water. Alongside Luis Suarez, the pair formed a fearsome strike partnership. He was scoring almost one a game during his first season and a half on Merseyside. And his performances saw him become England's first choice striker at the 2014 World Cup. He was on fire, but his fragilities would soon put the brakes on his burgeoning career. Beginning of the end. Sturridge's injury woes first started in 2014. His speed and the combative nature of the Premier League started to take its toll. He would go on to miss 18 games through a hamstring issue before missing a further 16 due to a hip injury. Problems with his knee, calf, and health would soon be fallen. Sturridge spent more time on the treatment table than the pitch. He played just 70 games over four years. While some attributed these injuries to poor lifestyle choices, he bemoaned his lack of luck. I already spend loads of money outside of the physios at work to do extra stuff to ensure that I can be as healthy as possible. And sometimes you can put the hours in, you can do everything, but it is just bad luck. He cut a frustrated figure at Liverpool. He was doing all he could to stay fit, but his body had other plans. And that started to affect him mentally. You know you've got the treatment that you need to get everything right. You've done everything. It can continue to break you and send you down a dark path. He was sent on loan to West Brom in 2018, but he suffered another injury in just his third game. That was now his 31st injury in five years. He would feature sparingly for Liverpool the following season, and despite lifting the Champions League once more, he was no longer part of Jurgen Klopp's plans. A move was inevitable. A failed gamble. In 2019, he joined Turkish side Trabzonspor as a free agent. A year prior, his name was linked with a move away, and Sturridge committed a fatal error. He divulged sensitive information to friends regarding a possible transfer and instructed his brother to bet on him moving to Sevilla. His move never materialized, but sanctions certainly did. He was suspended for two weeks and handed an $80,000 fine. Sturridge was playing in Turkey at the time, but the FA appealed the charges, deeming them too lenient. The verdict had fell on March 2020. The Englishman had to pay a fine of almost $210,000 and was suspended from all footballing activity for four months. In the aftermath, Trabzonspor terminated his contract and he became a free agent once more. The striker was left devastated. I'm going to continue to campaign for professional footballers to be able to speak to their families and close friends freely without the real risk of being charged. He would remain without a club for 15 months. Given his checkered injury record and off-the-pitch misdemeanors, no side in Europe wanted to place a bet on Sturridge. Pardon the pun. He was eventually thrown a lifeline on the other side of the world. He signed for Perth Glory in Australia, where yet again, he'd be hampered by injuries. He's played just a handful of minutes without any substantial return. Unfortunately, Sturridge is a shadow of his former self, and his past glories seem like a lifetime ago. In less than 10 years, Daniel Sturridge has gone from being England's preeminent striker to a bench warmer on the other side of the world. A devastating descent of a player blessed with considerable talent, blighted by persistent injuries.